Although fuel prices have shown large fluctuations in global markets in recent times, domestic retail prices have not been adjusted since 2015. The latest report from the central bank reveals by the end of 2017, the accumulated losses of the CPC amounted to 217.3 billion rupees. According to the central bank's annual report, the Brent crude oil price on a barrel in 2017 had increased by 21.6 percent. According to the report, the CPC spent 46 US dollars and 30 cents to import a barrel of crude oil in 2016, and it spent 57 dollars and 79 cents for the same in 2017, which is an increase of 24.8 percent. Accordingly, the total cost per liter of 92 octane petrol was 126 rupees and 41 cents. However, the sale revenue per liter of the same was only 113 rupees. Therefore, the subsidy per liter was 13 rupees and 41 cents, and the total annual subsidy is calculated at 16.234 billion rupees. Similarly, the total annual subsidy for 95 octane petrol was 2.366 billion rupees, while the total annual subsidy from diesel was 7.961 billion rupees. Kerosene reports an annual subsidy of 5.454 billion rupees and the total loss from all products was 32.015 billion rupees. Senior Deputy Governor of the Central Bank, Dr. Nandalal Virasingh, has said delaying an automatic pricing formula for fuel will make the debt management of loss-making Ceylon Petroleum Corporation difficult in the wake of rising global oil prices. He made these remarks during the Face the Nation panel discussion on TV1 last night. This pricing formula is necessary. That's also, I mean, I don't think government should have done it a lot earlier, in my view. So there's a delay. This pricing formula, if you look at the, even without pricing formula, before first time, last time the fuel prices adjusted locally, in Sri Lanka was 2000, January 2015. Before that, even without a pricing formula, there were you know, the uh, regular adjustment in domestic fuel prices just to reflect global prices. From 2015 January so far, this is the longest period in the recent history that fuel prices are not adjusted. Global price came down to $40 a barrel, now $74 a barrel. Don't blame the depreciation. This is 45 to 74 percent. This is uh, almost 100 percent uh, value in global. So when you have that kind of situation, if anyone, any government, which has delayed this thing, is obviously going to face a difficult, difficult problem in terms of managing battery, you know, managing CPC, all these things. If global prices are higher, obviously that consumer will have to pay that. And I just got some numbers. Right now, retail prices of petrol diesel in the region is the lowest in Sri Lanka. So even in, even in India, it is higher in terms of US dollar cents. India, Bangladesh, everywhere. Petrol prices are higher. The best solution which the government should go for now is to uh, go for this fuel, fuel formula. And if the government doesn't do it because of the elections that is going it has to face in the next two year period, the result would be the uh, the, uh, the said petroleum corporation would be incurring losses. And Do you think the government could buy more time from the IMF, IMF because the next tranche would no, depend on... No, I mean uh, the IMF tranche is simply about say three to four hundred million US dollars which is nothing when we compare with the requirements of the country. Even at this stage the government can do without the IMF tranche. What would happen to government is if they lost the next tranche, the government would uh, lose the credibility and it will have to pay some additional rate when they borrow money from the international market. And probably government might decide to go for that rather than uh, angering the uh, uh, public of the country by going for the fuel formula. So those are actually political decisions that are made mm. not in the interest of the long-term economic growth but in the interest of surviving in power, mm. So which is not good for Sri Lanka today.